I saw a lot of other pins in the market, but they weren't the same quality as what was the international people were selling all over the world. I can't buy it anywhere else. They're all in my head. You know what? I'll make it for myself. They're, they're like little works of art in every little tiny pin. I'm Ellie Ang and I own Danger in Design. So Danger in Design is basically my shop name and my brand name. And I make pins, I make merch out of my designs. I do other stuff. <laughs> I graduated from Multimedia Arts in CSB, so I really wanted to get into graphic design. I started when I was 12, 13, so I really like the work. I really like design and being able to marry the art and design together in my work. Danger in Design was my blog spot. I'm not gonna lie, I made it up. <laughs> so it's not deep. If I had to make up a meaning from it, it's the honesty in my design. I'm not saying it's dangerous, but like, I got opinions. I think opinions are dangerous sometimes. So my designs are honest, they are me. And I'm very unapologetic about them. Yeah, it came to life on its own. <laughs> I always design things if I'm inspired. When I feel like making it, then I'll make it. If you see my product, know that I love it and I created it knowing that it's true to me. And I was in the car with my mom and I said that I wanted to make pins because I started collecting pins. I like that it's cute and the designs are relatable and then I can wear it on my clothes, on my bag because I was inspired with the artist abroad. My mom was like, yeah, okay, we can try it. And she was very supportive. And then I was like, okay. So that began my research to searching for manufacturers and stuff like that. And then, then I made lots of pins in 2017. <laughs> I was nervous because I never sold my designs. That was the first time. It never crossed my mind that I could sell my designs, but I wasn't scared of starting it. I started Danger in Design with the help of my mom. <laughs> my mom is my number one staff. She was very supportive. My dad would help, but for other things. And then my mom knows how to do everything. She's one of the first people I always show my designs to and she's always supportive. Honestly, she helped me make this brand into what it is now. So I messaged other consignments and they told me I'm going to have a hard time with the rent if I only have three products. I had to make more pins so I was like, goal for 2017, I need to make 10 pins in order to be able to join a consignment. While I was doing that, I opened my Etsy because where else am I going to sell my pins if not online? When I already got 10 designs, my Etsy started picking up and then people were noticing me on Instagram. When more local people got into collecting pins, Common Room messaged me. They were opening Rockwell. I was like, heck yeah, <laughs> I, I wanted to be a part of that. Sure, I'm gonna join. Then they got me and then that was my first consignment in Common Room Rockwell. I wish I knew how much making pins were because it was really expensive <laughs> when i was starting out i didn't have a support group in instagram i was really shy because like sometimes these people are like oh they're amazing I, I, it's so scary to talk to them if you meet artists online they're really nice i wish i knew how to start in the local market and it was scary to go to art markets i, I didn't know anybody <laughs> art market tables are expensive when i met another pin maker they were like do you want a table with me and i wasn't even the one who offered there was like oh Oh my god yes yeah i wish i knew how to be confident back then as i am now with my things i'm more apologetic when starting i felt like i didn't deserve the space i got because i was starting out and i'm like nah you just gotta throw yourself in there 100 percent <laughs> somebody out there not just local that's why i keep encouraging people to go international somebody will find you and somebody will like yourself and even if it's scary you really won't know if you don't try you're just gonna think about what if so you just gotta put yourself out there i i've never felt like quitting because i love what i do i'm getting stressed over sending mail because it's hard mail gets lost mail gets returned sometimes it's scary to talk to international customers because some of them are <laughs> but i never felt like quitting because that's just not who i am as a person 
manage your expectations i understand that things go viral but you shouldn't expect yourself to go viral the whole product is the experience you can't just sell a half-assed produced pin even though your your design is like 10 out of 10 and then your execution is bad then it's going to be 5 out of 10. you have to do things for yourself and not for the market it's a good thing to consider the market that's a good business practice but if you're just considering the market and not yourself then don't do it there's not gonna be a point you're gonna get tired of it you're not gonna like it at the end of the day it's only worth doing if you really like it the only time <laughs> that you're gonna start is when you want to start it so you can't look at other people for that decision at the end of the day you're going to be the one drawing you're gonna be the one designing you're gonna be the one making packaging marketing those stuff it's gonna be you if you want to start you gotta start and I keep telling people that you just gotta jump into it no you gotta make it now when you still want to make it I think you have to really adjust yourself and know that you're an individual person and then no matter how much you want to be someone else you're never gonna be someone else because there's nobody like them and there's nobody like you art is about doing what you love and making what you love making what inspires you I can't tell the future but I am hoping there's more products hopefully collaborations with other artists big and small I just want to be able to inspire other artists to sell their stuff and know that there's a market for them, that there is a space for them in this community. And I just wanna keep making art. I wanna see DJ Design thrive. I wanna keep making other products, not just pins. Keep doing something new so I don't get complacent with where my brand is right now.